NewCap Game Audio Video Take 600. This is Joe, also known as Obfusk. I'm terrible at making these things, man. So uh, tonight I figured I would take you through a little bit of kind of the process and sound for uh, one of the songs from the NeoCab soundtrack. This one's titled Halogen Mosaic. And what you're seeing on your screen is a very condensed version of my digital audio workstation software, Logic Pro. I have um, my arrange window, which shows all the different instruments and the different parts. It's a pretty simple song, so not a lot really going on here, but you can see the mix automation, these lines, that's a volume fade up. You see some, uh, some pan automation, some stereo panning. And then over here, you see a little tiny mixer, which I just jammed into the corner, which has um, all the different effects on the, on the tracks. And um, down here is piano roll. You'd see the MIDI notes. Um, I don't know if we'll really get into that. You might see that a little bit, but I um, figured for the most part, just kind of give you a little glimpse of, um, of what I'm working on. So let's get right into it. This is a synth that kind of has like a gauzy feel, real long tails that just kind of bleeds off into infinity a little bit. Maybe not infinity, but, you know, kind of far out there. So a lot of the synth parts, I mean, I am, you know, kind of reusing, I'm basically building uh, presets and I'm reusing them from track to track. So you'll hear a lot of kind of, you know, overlaps and, um, and reuse of those sounds. I wanted a consistent feel, but also, you know, a varied feel depending on, you know, the mood of the track and, um, and kind of its purpose and placement in the, the world at whole. So um, next I've got this little arpeggiated bass part which actually also, if you're familiar with the E3 gameplay trailer, it may sound a little familiar. So let me kind of solo that out real quick. Pretty simple and uh, just like a nice like driving bass that when coupled with the synth, things off in a little direction. Next up we've got this little ARP Plinko, which not sure why exactly I named it that, but it sounded kind of plunky, and you'll hear what I mean here. Let's solo that out. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just soloing the, soloing the tracks um, so you don't hear anything else unless I, unless I wish you to. first change where you actually get a little bit of the beat and a nice little melodic change here so let's let's check that out So you can kind of see where this is headed. So then we got another change here where the drums change up a little bit. And also, let me see here. Yeah, let's just hit that. Let's hear. I think this isn't a major change, but you'll get a sense. Um, I tossed a hi-hat in there. So here, let's go right back here. Let's check this out. This is kind of a little change. Little Rhodes piano. locks into a little bit more of a groove and it feels a little bit looser with the hi-hat on the drums instead of it just being this kind of you know robotic plodding you know bass part that drives along you know with the synths and everything it kind of just you know, loosens up a little bit while keeping a pretty rigid feel um, then we then we come over here let me see here where this little let's see whoop, we'll go right there and then there's another little plunky arpeggiated part <laughs> So 
that's a little bit of um of halogen mosaic and um it's one of i think i'm just south of about 30 tracks on the soundtrack so far everything's in a in a draft state so nothing's final per se yet but um but it's all kind of coming together and um and i'm excited as time progresses to be able to share more of this and you know full tracks and also just kind of give a little bit more of a glimpse into how the world is sounding through the music and the sound design so um, i'm sure i'll do another one of these little videos soon but um thanks for watching and um yeah stay human